today on Sprinting Students on this terrific Tuesday, April 23rd. Hope you guys are doing well today. Let's jump right into today's announcements. First of all, um, please turn in your review, sh review sheets. They are due today. If you want the five bonus points, they must be turned in today. Unless, listen carefully, unless you're not taking the test today. If you're not taking the test today, you may turn in your review sheets if you want to, but you don't have to, okay? All right, and complaints again. Um, I did not collect any papers from yesterday since Josh is not in school, school. So if any of you turned any of these in, I will grade them tonight, okay? So don't worry about it anyways. Here are all the assignments that you national students are missing. Remember, all of these must be finished by Friday. Um, including all of the present assignments too, so you must be completely caught up on everything you missed, um, plus the assignments that you're currently missing. Now you must have everything turned in um, by Friday, okay? I'm not sure why I have all this by Monday stuff, but we'll take care of that real quick. Um, and that's it, okay? If you have any questions, please contact me. Okay, um, and let's see here, that should take care of that. Now, moving on, um, today we're going to take the Chapter 9 test. Don't worry, be sure to email your attendance to me. Now, students, let's go over your test for today. Please pause the video and get a copy of the test. I have sent it to Mrs. Hicks and also to Mrs. Little. Okay, let's go over your test. Um, it must be finished today. Um, you have two class periods to work on it, I think. If not, I know you have an extended class period by a little bit, but your test must be finished today. Okay, and here we go. Numbers 1, 2, and 3 simplify. Notice 1 and 2, you are not multiplying. You are adding number 1, subtracting number 2, and number 3 are multiplying. Numbers 4 through 8, you are not solving, you are simply factoring. Just factor, and that's all. Number 9 is going to be a tough one. Find all of the zeros for number 9. Real, imaginary, any zero at all, rational or irrational. Number 10, I want you to simplify that. Okay? You can use long division or synthetic division. That's totally up to you. Number 11, now listen carefully. Number 11, I want you to write that polynomial as a product of linear factors. I'm going to help you a little bit, so feel free to write down what I say. First of all, notice it is a fourth degree polynomial because your highest power is a 4 right here. See it there? So if it's a fourth degree, that means you will for sure have four zeros. Okay. Counting real zeros, imaginary zeros, and any repeats. Okay, so I'm going to help you on this. is a tough problem. I'm going to help you a little bit. Find all four zeros and then write that polynomial with four sets of parentheses. You guys should know how to do that. For example, if 7 is a 0, then you would change the sign and put x minus 7. So find the zeros and then write your four sets of parentheses. Okay? Number 12, take the polynomial from number 9 and graph it. Now you've already found the zeros, so you're all set there. And of course, don't forget zeros are the same thing as x intercepts. So um, take your information from number 9 and graph number 9. Be sure to include a table of values. That's it, guys. Please get to work on your tests. Have a great day today. Contact me, contact me if you have any questions at all.